I will teach you today how to draw a car. But not this. This has got too much detail. It doesn't go with the urban streetscape, where the impression of a car is showing up. Let's take a look how it would be looking like with that car in here. Cars need to be drawn with the style of repainting. This means if your style of drawing is not photorealistic, there is no point of drawing cars in that much of detail. Let's jump onto the drawing board with windscreen. Do the side window, the front and the wheel. That's a V from angle. Just do the headlight and uh, side window and bit of detail and then finish it off. Then let's draw the front view. It's simple, nothing much in it. Now let's paint it. Start with the windscreen and then in the front part of the car. Just a little bit of leave the uh, white space for the headlight and just a little bit of draw the shadows and stuff. Put the dark value wherever it is needed, especially down at the bottom, the wheels and uh, exactly below the windscreen. Color of the windscreen as well. And make sure you do the shadow underneath. Front view is pretty simple. Just paint the windscreen. Then down at the bottom, make it more darker. Leave space for a headlight. That's pretty much all. Let's draw the other side of the car, but without the sketching. Just on the side of your brush, draw the windscreen. Do the little bit border stuff. Draw the draw the base and the wheel mark and to anchor the car draw the shadow do the negative painting to define the shape whenever you are not drawing with the pen or pencils then you just sketching with the brush then it's a good idea to define the shape with a negative painting Let's draw side by side two cars without the sketching. Pretty simple as we did. The side of the brush, draw the windscreen, then front part and the wheel part. And then when you draw the back side car, draw the half of it. Half of the windscreen, half of the front part and one wheel. And then do the negative painting to define the shape of those cars. This negative painting could be part of the building or shadow or trees, anything. Define the shadows and stuff and that's pretty much all. This one is pretty interesting. Sometimes perspective of the car goes wrong. The solution is draw from the base. So draw the base of the car, the wheels and the ground where it is anchoring and then do the windscreen so that your perspective won't go wrong all this car after drawing it you can do the detailing with a pen if necessary or if you're not doing pen and wash you can put some dark values in there fix up the values and sort it out let's do some tiny little scenes and finish it off just sketching one car as we did before another one in the back and probably draw a figure at one side or some sceneries in there and that's not complicated that's pretty much all now just do the windscreen how we always do that Make sure when you do the windscreen, down at the bottom in the windscreen, you have beads of colors there which will create the darker values. 
draw the wheels and stuff and do the next car uh, you can use the negative painting to define the shape as we did before just draw the windscreen and front of the car and the wheel and with a negative value let's define the shape let's imagine this is a shop front let's draw the people with just two stroke we can draw the people uh, if you want to learn how to draw the people quickly there's a video in the end screen you will find that just click on that you can watch it how to draw the people quickly and just quickly finish it off with the negative painting just imagine this is a storefront or something like that the car was parked so let's draw something like that I'm just quickly just defining some scenery here nothing else that's all okay let's do some coloring stuff when you do the coloring you don't need to color all the way around do one or two stroke not everything just one or two stroke that will show your efficiency in watercolor leave something out there without the mark That's pretty much all. Just doing some shadows and stuff. You can use the brush to lift up some color in there just to show the shine of the sunlight. Or you can use some gouache paint or Chinese white just to show the reflection of the sun or the light something like that as the shadow is on the right hand side that's why I just put reflection on the left hand side now let's do this one very quickly do the windscreen this is interesting and simply I will not do any other stuff I will just with the darker value with the lots of water I will just do another square sort of thing say it looks like it's the bottom of the base of the car And that's it you can do like something like that let's define the shape now see imagine this is a rainy day or something like that. we need to put the shadow down at the bottom what do we do just put a puddle of water down in the bottom and pull the water in in there here you go see how easy is that just drop some colors or for the values in there let the water flow by itself Put a little bit of darker value on the top so that it distinguishes which one is the car and which one is the shadow now you can probably draw the draw the headlight just put some white gouache in there just a tiny drop and the reflection down at the bottom just pull it up There you go so as you can see the thing we have done we try to draw the car as minimum brush stroke as possible and that's the mastery we need to be aiming at thank you thanks for watching this video if you like it please consider subscribing i will see you next time thank you